some of you may already have seen it, but if you haven't, there was a fabulous live broadcast with Agony Auti, the autistic advocate, uh, and do I look autistic yet? And myself, and we did a live chat, and we were t kicking off uh, Kieran and Hannah's Take the Mask Off campaign, and it was such an honor to be a part of this. And if you haven't seen the video, uh, even though you missed the live stream, there is a video up, and you should check that out. I'll try to put a link to that somewhere. Uh, maybe I'll figure that out. Uh, probably on my blog. I'm gonna put the video on my blog. I will put you will be able to watch the video hopefully on my blog. I haven't figured that out yet so we'll see how that goes. I'm making promises I may not be able to keep but there will at least be a link. I can do a link. Um, and continuing the conversation I wanted to talk a little bit this week about masking because it's a very important topic and it's something that doesn't always get enough discussion. Uh, so let's dive on into this one. <laughs> so well, first I guess we'll say like what? What is masking specifically? Uh, first, uh, also I should say as I go into this that everyone masks to some degree, like everyone does it. You know, you put on a mask, uh, but autistic masking is something completely different. And it's unique, and that's why I want to talk about it here uh, in a little bit more detail with some additional thoughts I had after we did this broadcast. So, uh, one of the main differences between like autistic masking and then just normal everyday people just masking uh, would be certain things that autistic people just naturally do are unfortunately often considered socially unacceptable in society. For example, <laughs> we'll use myself as an example. I, at home, relaxed around Dave, especially around Dave, and then also around close family, am very goofy and babbly and talk a lot. And I sometimes, you know, what looks like on the outside, like have nonsense words and nonsense sounds and nonsense things that I just say and I'm just like constantly talking to myself and making noises and quoting movies and singing songs and making up songs about <laughs> things as I'm doing them. Like I narrate my life a lot. <laughs> I am the narrator of my life. And just being just relaxed uh, and me, you know, really. And then the other thing that's me you know, is, and is an artistic thing is stimming and Stimming, I have a whole nother video about stimming, uh, so I'll try and link that as well that talks about what that is because that's a whole nother topic. But you know, it, it, with me, stimming is all these things I do with my hands when I'm talking, or if I'm yeah, you know, like oh, right now, I'm rocking actually, <laughs> rocking that's a stim. Uh, usually, like I will sit. Uh, cross-legged and I have my legs just pressing down into them or I'll put my hands under my butt and sit on it really hard with my uh, bony butt muscles not butt muscles bones <laughs> um, bouncing I'm just always in motion so that's what stimming is for me and so you know when I'm masking I am focusing very hard not to do a lot of that stuff so I'm trying to be quiet and my face like if you've seen this video like I have a very overly expressive face uh, and it's just too much sometimes so you know I'm trying to control my face and display the appropriate face for the given situation and I'm trying to like I'm not popping out little things that pop into my head at like a normally like a, I'll hear I'll I'll a situation will happen and then a movie quote will pop into my head and it'll be like or a sound and like bah, 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 and I get, it'll be in my head and I'll just do it inside and I'll keep it in keep it in conceal don't feel don't let them know oh gosh <laughs> I it's been a great day so far and it's raining now I'm gonna have to hurry because if it rains really loud you won't be able to hear me because of the RV roof um so all of that requires a lot of focus just 
trying to hold myself still and hold it all in to conceal not feel to quote Elsa from Disney because I love Disney movies even though I'm in my 30s Disney for life um, all of that's just very exhausting and you know I it's it's important to kind of think about the message that's being sent when people feel like these things that are just a natural part of themselves are inherent like pe they people can become like you, you feel like it's bad like you're just naturally bad like these things that you just naturally do are weird bad unacceptable and you just need to hide that and that's really that can be really bad for people's mental health you know, just being ashamed of who you are and it, it's it can wear you down and burn you out if you're just constantly trying to suppress who you are and it's just the physical like I get physically tired and just worn down from just trying to be still all the time uh, you know in public you know there are things like I, in public and like if I go to an office for work or somewhere where I need to be professional I am not um, running around singing to myself and walking on my tiptoes and spinning in circles and going around like this because that's what happens when I'm really excited. I'm like, yeah, I'm a chicken. Yeah, for real, for real. That's so you know I'm I'm restraining myself and you know my stems become more like just like clasping my hands really really tight, tensing my body and releasing it. Um, Maybe I might sway a little bit. I, I don't, I catch myself doing it. I didn't even know I, I rock, but I do. Um, and then like maybe grabbing my arm, uh, fiddling with my straps on my clothes, my hair, uh, watches, jewelry, you know, it's a good one. And all of these things are just things that I've just naturally, it's not even intentional. It's just something that has happened for, to me as I just naturally started to do things that don't draw attention to myself. And that's really what it is. It's like learning in certain situations to keep a low profile and not draw unwanted attention to yourself. It's a safety thing. It's a protection thing. It's starting to rain really loud, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up soon. Um, because I can't even hear myself talk. Can you hear me still? <laughs> anyway, those are just a few thoughts. I will be talking more about masking this month and I hope you will join us and follow the take the mask off hashtag and share your own experiences with masking. Let me know in the comments below if you feel like masking is a good thing. What are some good things that are, can come from masking and being able to mask? Because there definitely are some privileges and good things associated with that. And then what are some good things with being able to not mask and, you know, not masking and taking the mask off? Uh, so. Here comes the rain. I'm going to sign out. Uh, I put out new content every Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe, and I will talk to you next week. Bye-ya!